What is up everybody? Well, today was a total bust for dumpster diving. I went out until about 12 o'clock and I didn't have any luck finding anything today. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the Goodwill outlet or more affectionately known as the bins. So let's take a look inside and see if we can find anything good today. Poor Barbie. Look at people should not bring their kids in here, but whatever. Christmas tree. Oh, a lot of empty bins in here today on this side and on the other side. It's the end of the day. It's usually good to come here either at the end of the day or in the morning because I find you have the best luck. You're either going to get the good stuff left over that they didn't take at the end of the day or if you get here in the morning then you get the good stuff before they take it. I don't know. It's hit or miss sometimes. So over there they are waiting for the new bins to be uncovered. You're not allowed to touch anything until they come take the sheets off or they yell at you. Okay guys so it's really hard to like fold the camera film and then dig at the same time because I need both hands to dig but there is so much stuff here today and when they pile them super high like this it's like a lot of work digging through i found a whole bunch of stuff so far in this bin i got this cute like dr seuss dress i found a vintage toy story pajama another cool vintage dress this cool vintage beanie and a bunch more great stuff in here that I'll show you guys when I get home you guys so I saw this bathrobe from the back and I just you know saw this tag and I was like well robes are pretty heavy so I grabbed it out I was like let me see it is vintage and when I turned it over and saw the lapel I was like yeah brand new I've totally got to take this. It doesn't have anything on the back, but how cool is that? What's up guys? Coming to you live from my bedroom. Please don't mind the mess. I am temporarily living with my daughter and everything is crammed into one room. So I want to show you guys what I found at the bins today. So I'm going to just start off with the good stuff. Um, this Dick Tracy bathrobe, which is pretty awesome. So it's basically like his trench coat that he wore it's got the <clears throat> cool like trench coat lapel with the dick tracy right here embroidered and it's got the belt and everything which is like super hard like usually when you find robes at the bins they're always missing the belts and it's new with tags so you can't beat that and i looked them up on ebay to see if there were any and i didn't see any up there so i mean it's brand new with tag i'm gonna start it at a hundred dollars and see what happens I found this cool like <clears throat> cat <laughs> cat onesie pajama thing and I don't know I just thought it was hilarious and my daughter has a cat that is like black and white like this so I thought I would get her that <laughs> be kind of funny um so I found this kind of cool I think it's like a wrap totally cute vintage it snaps and yeah, this is super cute. It has like a belt in the back that's like sewn on. It would be cute like as a shirt or well, yeah, it's a little sh it's a little short for a uh, for a dress, so it definitely only can be a shirt. So, yeah. <laughs> I found this shirt. I don't know something about it. To me, it was just like really cool. It says "Asking Alexandria," probably a band. Maybe I've heard of them. 
don't like shame me if I haven't, but um, it's Bay Island Sportswear. I mean, the tag looks vintage, but it's not single stitch. So it might just be older. A lot of people are looking for single stitch shirts right now. There was a lot of people who were there that I could tell they were just digging for single stitch shirts. <clears throat> Found this cool vintage Toy Story kids pajamas. This is a size 3T. Oh, I should put my little granddaughter in this and photograph her. This is super cool with Buzz and Woody. It has a tiny little tear. I don't know if you could see that right at like the armpit, but I can sew that up. And then I found a vintage Britannia men's sweatshirt. I mean, this is from the 80s, even though it's plain. These are super cool, um, super in right now. I mean, you see a lot of that stuff kind of being remade at like Forever 21. And here's another one. Like, I love these. I have a couple um, of these types of sweatshirts with different... Um, you know, they're like tourist sweatshirts. So this one is from Yellowstone, which is actually really cool. Um, and this one is a Russell Athletic. And it's in decent condition. I'll OxyClean it and it'll take out a lot of the dingy yellow and there's like a spot at the bottom. So a little trick, what I do, um, and it works really awesome, is I buy the um, OxyClean spray and I'll spray whatever stains are on the, on the, on the garment <clears throat> and I'll let them soak. And then I will wash them and I will use a little bit of laundry detergent and also a scoop of OxyClean powder detergent. Um, and for really, really tough stains, especially on whites, just super, super, super hot water in like a Rubbermaid tub that like you could leave it in the bathtub um, and just soak the item in there for a couple hours or overnight or as long as it takes, you know, to get the stains out. And I mean, I have found vintage dresses that were like so badly yellowed. And I mean, I got the stains almost completely out. Um, they were at least 90% better than what they were when I bought them. So um, just make sure that you don't mix colors because Sometimes they will bleed and you might end up with different colored garments. Just a warning, I've done that before. Um, I found some cool like Indian style kind of like harem pants. I am going to the Jim and Jam Festival with my sister. Um, I think it's like the first weekend of February. The gym show is huge here in Tucson and my sister comes out every year. So she's coming out again this year and she got us tickets to the gym and jam show. So I'm gonna try to go with like an Indian theme for like my costumes. So I noticed that these vintage camisoles are trending right now. I mean, they have been probably for a long time, but when I was downtown here, I saw two girls while I was down there, you know, walking around just wearing these with like vintage high-waisted pants and it was like a super cool look. So I don't know, I'm gonna try to pair that with this and see how that looks. And then I found this kind of sari dress type deal. I mean, it's like super big size, but what my plan is, and there's a matching jacket, is to cut all of this down, do something fun and funky with the jacket, you know, cause it's like super huge and use most of the fabric to do some kind of like maybe short shorts and a tight either like a bikini ish kind of style crop top or um i don't know i i don't know yet but it's going to be some kind of crop top and short shorts and then i'm going to shorten the jacket somehow maybe put tails on it I, i'm not exactly sure yet but that's kind of like my base idea that i'm going with and um i don't know i thought that would be fun and then add some some more, you know, jingles and sequins and just make it festival, you know, go all out. <clears throat> I also found this super cute vintage apron. Look at this, total 50s housewife. It's like organza and black velvet. Super cute, in great condition. So I could probably get about 40 bucks for this. I mean, I could ask 40, maybe 30. I don't know, it's super cute though, and it's got like little bows, and it's got the little individual pockets. So, um, yeah, I have a few more things. So I found some fabric, some cool Western fabric, and that cool beanie that you saw from that, 
and then a cool hat. Like I thought I could use part of this, you know, for part of my costume as well. It's all sequins and it had like some feathers in the back. It's like a little, you see that? Super cute. And that little Dr. Seuss dress for my granddaughter. That's super cute. And I found a vintage sequin Santa vest. And a men's vintage collared shirt, which I really like. I'm kind of thinking about, you know, altering it and wearing it. I've been into these kind of shirts lately and like um, men's short sleeve button front shirts um, in funky, you know, 80s style. I mean, I think those are kind of in and trendy right now anyway. So that's my haul for today. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please remember if you like my content, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get notified when I post new content. And remember, share if you think that my content is that interesting that your friends might like it too. I look forward to making another video for you guys. Hopefully the dumpsters will have something good tomorrow, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!